Iris Sleeps Over by Bernard Waber and acted out and read by Patty Phillips as the character of Ira. I was invited to sleep at Reggie's house. I was so excited. I had never slept at a friend's house before, but I had a problem. It began when my sister said, are you taking your teddy bear along? Taking my teddy bear along, I said, to my friend's house? Are you kidding? That's the silliest thing I ever heard. Of course I'm not taking my teddy bear. And then she said, but you've never slept without your teddy bear before. How will you feel sleeping without your teddy bear for the very first time? Hmm? Huh, nice sister. I'll feel fine. I'll feel great, I said. I will probably love sleeping without my teddy bear. Just don't you worry about it, I said. Who's worried, she said. Oh, here's that pesky sister. You see her? Those sisters. But now she had me thinking about it. She really had me thinking about it. I began to wonder, suppose I don't like sleeping without my teddy bear. Suppose I just hate sleeping without my teddy bear. Should I take him? Uh, take him, said my mother. Take him, said my father. But Reggie will laugh, I said. He'll say I'm a baby. He won't laugh, said my mother. He won't laugh, said my father. He'll laugh, said my sister. I decided not to take my teddy bear. That afternoon, I played with Reggie. We, Reggie had plans, big plans. Tonight, he said, when you come over to my house, we are going to have fun, fun, fun. First, I'll show you my junk collection. And after that, we'll have a wrestling match. And after that, we'll have a pillow fight. And after that, we'll do magic tricks. And after that, we'll play checkers. And after that, we'll play dominoes. And after that, we can fool around with my magnifying glass. Oh, great, I said. I can hardly wait. Um... By the way, I asked, um, what do you think of teddy bears? But Reggie just went right on talking and planning and acting like he didn't even hear me and asking about teddy bears. And after that, he said, do you know what we can do after that? I mean, when the lights are out and the house is really dark, guess what we can do? What, I asked. We can tell ghost stories. Ghost stories, I said. Ghost stories, said Reggie. Scary, creepy, spooky ghost stories. I began to think about my teddy bear. I really began to think a lot about him. Um, does your house get um, very dark, I asked. Uh-huh, said Reggie. <coughs> um, really very, very dark, I said. Uh-huh, said Reggie. Oh, um, by the way, I asked, what do you think of teddy bears? Suddenly, Reggie was in a big hurry to go someplace. See you tonight, he said. See you tonight, I said. I decided to take my teddy bear. Good, said my mother. Good, said my father. But my sister said, What's Reggie? What if Reggie wants to know your teddy bear's name? Did you think about that? And did you think about how he'll laugh and say Tata is a silly baby name, even for a teddy bear? He won't ask, I said. He'll ask, she said. I decided not to take my teddy bear. 
At last it was time to go to Reggie's house. Good night, said my mother. Good night, said my father. Sleep tight, said my sister. I went next door where Reggie lives. Oh my goodness, that night Reggie showed me his junk. He showed me his flashlight collection, a his collection of bottle caps, a chain made with chewing gum wrappers, some picture postcards, an egg timer, jumble goggles, a false nose and mustache, and a bunch of old rubber stamps and labels from his father's office. We decided to play office with the labels and stamps. After that, we had a wrestling match, and after that, we had a pillow fight. And after that, Reggie's father said, Bedtime. Already, said Reggie. Already, said his father. We got into bed. Good night, said Reggie's father. Good night, said Reggie. Good night, I said. Reggie sighed. <sighs> well, we can tell ghost stories, said Reggie. Do you know any, I asked. Uh-huh, said Reggie. And Reggie began to tell a ghost story. Once there was this ghost and he lived in a haunted house and he did most of the haunting himself. The house was really empty except for this ghost because nobody wanted to go near this house. They were so afraid of this ghost. And every single night this ghost would walk around his house and make all kinds of clumpy, creaky, clunky sounds. Harum, 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 like that. And he would go around looking for people to scare because that's what he liked to do most was scare people. And he was very scary to look at. Oh, was he scary to look at. Reggie stopped. Are you scared? He asked. Uh-huh. Are you, I said. What? Asked Reggie. Are you scared? Just a minute, said Reggie. I have to go get something. Well, what do you have to get? Oh, something, Reggie said. Can you see what he's getting out? like a teddy bear out of his dresser drawer. Reggie pulled something out of a drawer. The room was dark, but I could see it had fuzzy arms and legs, and it was about the size of a teddy bear. I looked again. It was a teddy bear. Reggie got back into bed. Now about this ghost, he said. Is that a teddy bear? I asked. Oh, what, said Reggie? Is that your teddy bear? Oh, you mean this teddy bear, said Reggie? The one you're holding, I said. Um, uh-huh, Reggie answered. Do you sleep with him all the time? What, asked Reggie? Do you sleep with him all of the time? Uh-huh, he said. Does your teddy bear have a name? Does your teddy bear have a name? I asked. Uh-huh, Reggie answered. What is it? You won't laugh, said Reggie. I won't laugh. You promise? I promise, I said. It's Fufu. Did you say Fufu? Uh-huh, said Reggie. Just a minute, I said. I have to get something. What do you have to get, Reggie asked. Oh, something, I answered. Pulled my blanket around me. Walked next door, and the next minute I was ringing my own doorbell. The door opened. Ira, everyone said, what are you doing here? I changed my mind. I answered. You what, said my father? You what, said my mother? You what, said my sister? She was still up. I changed my mind. I decided to take Tata 
After all, I went upstairs. Soon, I was down again with Tata. There he is going down the stairs. My sister said, Reggie's going to laugh. Reggie will laugh. You'll see how he'll laugh. He's going to fall down laughing, said my sister. He won't laugh, said my mother. He won't laugh, said my father. He won't laugh, I said. I came back to Reggie's room. I have a teddy bear too. Do you want to know his name? I waited for Reggie to say, uh-huh. But Reggie didn't say, uh-huh. Reggie didn't say anything. I looked at Reggie. He was fast asleep. Just like that, Reggie had fallen asleep. Reggie, wake up, I said. You have to finish telling the ghost story. But Reggie just held his teddy bear closer and went right on sleeping. And after that, well, after that, there wasn't anything after that. There wasn't anything to do. Good night, I whispered to Tata, and I fell asleep too. Ira sleeps over.